the generating nature of source continues to give each of you a new mode of stability in rising interdimensionally to connect across the vastness of galactic space and uniting across all of the cosmos for ascension. This is about an in-sync reality to transforming your inner resonance with the healing consistency of rising in the unified state of living for a oneness frequency to rise into more in grace. All of the activations that have been going on inside of you has given you the necessary integration in managing a more fluid nature in climbing the ascension ladder with who I am as your commander Ashtar, of who we are of the angelic realms, of the galactic council, of the galactic federation of light. Through a consistent focus to reside in a cosmic integration with more energies of delight comes the foundation of a new portal generator that spans out into completion roles. In making no errors of consciousness about this, through your own inner creative fields as the light comes a linked together existence that is entered in your daily lives of bliss. It would not be possible to evolve at such a quick rate if not for the surface of Earth to already be on a path of ascension into a higher vibrational energy system. Your own forming together into a continual majestic kingdom of peaceful energies comes through a combining of healing that is crystalline in nature. Through a direct downloading of information that peaks from your expansive essence into the abundance of light realms comes the Christ dead reality that is ingested in your own internal selves. A direct reshaping in every area of your lives often comes with the stability to shift interdimensionally into a path that is generous in nature, where you are each providing service that is divine in nature. This is about recognizing that you are creating the path of galactic unification with who we are of the Galactic Federation of Light, of your angelic guardians into more modes of completion. All of the actions that are linked into your own reality of existing for unification among all of life is not included with lowering your vibration to exist in a fearfulness consistently, when your path is to rise more. A risen Christ dead reality comes with the gentleness of a service that uplifts every part of your lives into that of an ascended nature, with the dedication to expand into more higher planes. All paths that are connected together across the vast amount of space codes comes the inner resonance to clear all of the energies that are considered to be harmful, in which your life becomes a shining beacon of energy. To radiate at the tops of the spiritual hierarchy then comes along with a formulation of cosmic energies that are spiraled around to form your light bodies in the direct internal glow of pure source. It is the lower ego self which often says, but I don't know what to think anymore, I am my mind in every sense of the words that I use, I cannot look at myself to not be my mind. I'm sorry. It's just not what I want to do, I don't want to detach who I am from my mind. These same beings often exist with a war, fighting reality, and refuse to stop killing, often saying with the lower ego self, but God gave me the power to kill to protect, I kill the bad guys, they don't deserve a place on this world. Sometimes in war, you have to sacrifice the women and innocent children to get the bad guys. This is where you are seeing beyond all of the insane realities of the lower ego self, which refuses to stop killing, and creating more divide and conquer realities, while higher gateways of light consists of pure energy. The grace of the light is not to kill. It is not to live in the lower ego self of the judgments that often exist to create separation instead of uniting of all sentient life forms. This creates an awareness of how every single action that you make creates a direct effect over all beings on this world, in which this is how ascension works, as the more you are evolving, the more you are advancing into cosmic unification. Your own rising into a divine nature then consists of a pathway that is reset with the energetic resetting of a royal kingdom that is fulfilling in nature, that is assisted in the forgiveness of more energetic portals. The kindness that comes from being the ascended ones comes with recognizing that there are those of you walking around in human forms that are non-human, that are extraterrestrial in which this is about carrying experiences from our divine fleet. 
All humans on this world do not carry this current reality, and although all are from source, all do not carry the same experiences while on this world, any more than all of you have lived the exact same experiences while on this planet. Within a fountain of crystal healing comes the forgiving nature that is welcomed in your DNA advancement into a balanced existence that is focused on more caring actions. This is about existing beyond all of the doubt of the human mind to feel that it is impossible to have a form that does not age, that stays the same looking age, in which that is only accomplished among those of you that are ascended in nature. The lower ego self often says, everyone is ascending, even those who are killing, raping, and causing massive chaos. That is not how this works as ascension is only accomplished through rising more in the delightful energy, in the kind vibration that is instilled with a royal integration into the harmonious essence of pure glorious dimensions. All inside of a galactic homecoming comes your own stability to see in an abundance of your conscious awareness, which is receptive to changes that are sacred in nature. In residing deeper in a field of cosmic realms comes the satisfaction of living to exist beyond the scope of those who are only focused on dividing and conquering all of Earth. All of the lower ego self-existence is to exist for more judgments, often saying, but I don't think extraterrestrials would be on Earth, they do not exist, they are science fiction, nothing less, nothing more, where is your proof? I am still not convinced by ships that go fast in the sky, they could be the government carrying out secret missions, you don't know. This is where you are each seeing beyond all of the doubtful natures into the glorious vibration of rising for an energetic manifestation of being source on a higher path of harmonization. With the light support, there can be no misery that is able to stop your own stability in restructuring every part of you to exist in more forgiveness. All parts of this integration into more divine kingdoms comes with your own recognition of the organization that it takes to bring up higher frequencies. This comes in the clear modes of being more receptive to changes that are open to being more receptive to a fully conscious reality that is not blocked by more thinking. The human mind has been conditioned by the cabal to often focus on non-stop analyzing, in more judgmental realities that are lower dimensional in nature, while higher dimensions exists beyond that space of reality. We stand in infinite source, we are the angelic realms, we are the galactic council, we are the galactic federation of light.